when those things would happen in certain villages, they would call a kahuna po'e uhane, the spirit catcher. In Hawaii, there are many ways to place a curse on someone. One of the ways is by placing a curse of a spirit. And what that means is you send a spirit as a curse to harass a certain family, to cause dissension, to make sure that no one gets along. So that in the end, the entire family, the village, the place is destroyed. When those things would happen in certain villages, they would call a kahuna po'e uhane the spirit catcher. That kahuna would appear in that village with a bowl of water. The water, however, was from the deepest part of the ocean, and in that bowl of water was olena, or turmeric, and pa'akai, Hawaiian salt. He would have the entire village line up side by side, and he would go up to each person one by one and hold the bowl of water under their chin and wait. And sometimes the process took a second, a minute, sometimes the whole day, but it had to be done, just one by one, right under the person's chin. Was he waiting to see if they cast a reflection? Was he waiting to see if they drank the water? No. What he was really waiting for was exhaustion. After having to stand there for so long and wait, someone finally has to go, <sighs> when they exhale, and the breath leaves the body and touches the surface of the water in the bowl. It forms a ripple. That's a human being. If nothing happens, that's the spirit. Slap the water in the bowl, the water dissipates, and so too does the spirit. Of course today, if there's a case like that, we have to know that spirits are smart. They can figure that out. Another way you can check for spirits is to plant along the walkway of your house, sometimes around your house, these big elephant ear shaped leaves. We call them ape. They're velvety to touch on the surface. And if you let them grow so that they sort of cover the sidewalk, that's good. Because what you're waiting for is for someone to enter the yard of your house, walk down that sidewalk. If they're a human being and they step on the leaves, the leaves break. If they're a spirit, and they step on the leaf, it doesn't break. And that's how you know you have a spirit trying to enter your house to cause dissension among your family. Several years ago, a young man called me on the phone when I was still living off of Dade Street. And he said, I have a problem. The problem is so bad, I actually had to move out of my house. And I couldn't tell my girlfriend where I was. I just had to cut off all communication. And I asked him what happened. He says, I live in a place near Kaneohe Bay. My house, the walkway to it, the front door, is lined with ape. And I remember Glenn Grant talking about a story of a goddess of Manoa who had to walk on the ape leaf to see if she was a spirit. And of course, they managed to have two other people assist her and tear the leaf because she really was a spirit. I said, yes, I remember that story. He said, one night, my girlfriend and I went out for dinner. We came back, and I dropped her off in front of the house because I was going to go park behind. I'd never done that before. But as I dropped her off and she got out of the car and walked up the steps, taking the sidewalk, going to my front door, I kind of glanced. And I noticed that as she was stepping on the ape leaves that sort of hung over the sidewalk, they didn't break. Not one of them broke. And I said, it could be anything, you know? I mean, maybe uh, the leaves are kind of like thicker and stronger. He said, no, no, those leaves, they didn't break. I got chills. 
and instead of parking in my garage, I kept driving. And I know all the stuff that I own is, is in my house and everything like that, but I, I still had my wallet. I found a hotel near the airport, and that's where I stayed. I'm not sure yet if, yet if I, I, I want to catch a plane or, or fly out or, or, or do something or do nothing. I just, I'm scared. Was I dating a spirit all this time? I mean, those leaves didn't break. And I told them that's the thing about spirits, that they're sent as a curse. When they live amongst us, we can't tell who they are because they look just like you and me. You can touch them, you can talk to them. If they don't bathe, they smell. And yes, there have been accounts of people who've actually been involved in relationships with spirits, never knowing they were one. Until, of course, it's too late. Can you think of anyone that hates you? Who might have wanted to put a curse on you like that, sending this, the curse of a spirit? And he said, no. Offhand, I can't. Because I'm just too... I'm too afraid. I can't believe what I saw. But if I come up with something, he said, I'll let you know. I'm still waiting. It's been several years. And I haven't heard anything back.